everyone, this is Terry, and I would like to show you how to create a CSV file using the name drop feature in PE Design 11 and how to import the CSV file. If you're not familiar with it, a CSV file is a comma separated value file. It is a file that is used in many spreadsheet packages or databases and, and can be used to import information. Your file has to be in a specific format in order to pull it in, so I will show you how to do that. The first thing let's do, let's cancel and go back to the screen. I cover name drops in another video, but briefly you need to have a text uh, field and I happen to have an image as well. I have name drop selected and now I want to go to the name drop list. I'll go into that list and I want to add a name to it and let's just say that the name is Malcolm. If I can save this as a CSV file or I can save the name drop to a folder if I save it to a folder, it's a folder that I can open up and retrieve this information. I showed that in the first video. If I save it as a CSV file, then I can import that file into Microsoft Excel. I want to save it as a CSV file. I already have an example of one that I saved earlier, so I'll save it over that file and it says it exists and do I want to replace it and I'll say yes. Now what I need to do is I need to go into Microsoft Excel and open that file. To open that file I'm going to choose browse and I know that it's in my PE Design 11 folder and I want to choose all files. So I'm looking for the file that I named name drop three video and I'll open it. When I open that file you'll see the six names I already entered. The nice thing about creating a CSV file is if you have for instance a, a, a group of people, let's say 50 or more, that you don't want to type the list within um, excuse me, within PE Design 11 you can create it in Excel and perhaps you're going to use something you already have in Excel that's a database, say the names names of uh, some people that are on your in your phone book, for instance, or your contacts. Let me go ahead and add a few more names here. So we'll add Joan, James, and Alice. Okay. Now I need to save this file, and I'll choose File, Save As, and I need to make sure that it is a comma-separated value or comma-delimited file, and I'll choose Save. It'll, it's going to say that this already exists because I created it in PE Design 11. I'll go ahead and choose OK. Now I want to show you or recreate an error that I had earlier in PE Design 11 so you don't do the same thing that I did. Actually I wrote to Brother about this and they very quickly responded, which I'm thankful for. So I'll go ahead and go back to the name drop list and choose Import CSV. This was Name Drop Video and I'll choose Open and I get a sharing violation. And the reason I'm getting that violation is, duh, I forgot to close the file. So it's my bad. Let me go back to Excel and let me close the file. And now that it's closed, let me import my CSV and choose open. This time the file open as it should have opened. Now what I can do is, just like I showed you in the first video, I can change a name, pull up a design, send that design to a machine, or I can save each individual design, or I can output all the designs. I've shared that in the first video, so please watch it.
I hope this has been helpful to you. As always, please enter comments if you have questions, and I'll be happy to record videos if there's a topic that you'd like me to research. Thanks so much, and have a great day.